Impressionism showed artists a new way of looking at the world. It spurred painters to experiment, giving birth to post-Impressionism with the dawn of the 20th century. Let's explore the creativity of the era. Although he was friendly with the Impressionists, Henri Fontaine Latour rejected their love of painting on plein air. His exquisite flower still lifes were made in the studio. Their complexity evoked in sinuous, sensual brushwork. Renoir in the 20th century became ever more fluent and daring in his use of paint. Favorite subjects were the roses that rambled in his joyously unkempt garden in the south of France, the swirling depths of the flowers set his imagination free. Sisley creates a vibrant meeting of water and sky as the powerful diagonal of the canal reflects the heavens filled with clouds. What is more beautiful, indeed, than a summer sky with its wispy clouds idly floating across the blue? Henri Moret's theme here is his beloved Breton coast with bold contrasts of red and green, purple and yellow. Moret's rich and pasto conveys the might of the sea and the spiky resilience of the land formed by it. The post-impressionism of Henri Le Sudané explored the serene intimacy of domestic life. This painting depicts the terrace of his house at Jeberois. A happy home is implied by the meal laid with such classical balance against the white cloth. Using dabbed and blended brushstrokes, Le Sidane allows his composition to flow through a superb control of tonal progressions. Arbert Maquet uses simplified outlines and flat planes of colour to evoke the noonday sun dazzling on the stucco houses of Collier. In Marquet's saturated colours and bold geometry, post-impressionism meets modernism. <laughs> 